Hello, Nelson. Hello, everybody. Diego. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Nelson. Teacher. Hey. Tonight, um, I'm going to be a listener because I'm going to the airport to pick up my wife and my baby boy. That's awesome. It's really good. I hope everything I, I, goes well. I'm eating my dinner in the gas station right now. <laughs> okay, enjoy. Thank you, teacher. But I, I'm pending and I'm full addition. Thank you. Try to, try to. Thank you. Okay, Nelson. So it's going to be only you and me because, well, well and Christia. Yeah. There is. Juan Carlos, Diana. Where's Juan Carlos? Oh, yeah, Juan Carlos is coming, yeah. Hopefully they, they can participate with us. No. <laughs> yes, teacher, I hear. Hey, what's up? Juan Carlos, good evening, welcome. Hey, guys, please try to turn on your camera if possible. Um, that feels weird. <laughs> Thank you, Diego. It's okay. Okay, so let's wait for the other. So, what time did you finish working, Nelson, yesterday? Yesterday, I ended up like 12. At about 12? Midnight? Yes, but I am, today is my day, so my day off. Oh. Oh, I, I, I wake up late. You woke up late. Okay. I woke up late today. Okay, so let me see. We have one, two, three listeners already and we are six so we have three participants and three listeners wow okay let's just wait for the others okay in a real live scenario, you know, I shouldn't have to be asking, begging. I shouldn't have to be begging students to be in the class. <laughs> but it's okay. That's that's the way it is. Carlos Alfredo. Who's, who's, oh, Carlos. Yeah. Present. Hey. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't done the attendance. Don't worry. Okay. We're getting there. We're just waiting for more participants to join us. So, how was this morning, Carlos? How was your day today? Um, was good. <laughs> Working. Um, busy day because today uh, is the is the last day for the taxes. What uh, really? Yes. Um and it's a hard day for all the accountants. My god. I just got the bad news from my accountant yesterday. I gotta pay. <laughs> <laughs> and every year, every year for the last three or four years I had to pay. And and twenty twenty one was the worst. Because I, I barely worked, I barely worked, but still, you know, taxes were over $300, I think. And this year is close to $300. Oh my God. So <laughs> that hurts. It really hurts. Yes. I mean, it's a lot of money. Yes. That's the way it is. And that's the difficult part of having more than one job, you know. When you yes. have more than one job, my God. Yes, you paid a lot. You paid a lot, yeah. But anyways, 
it is what it is. I don't want to see next year because this year I'm planning to work a lot. I know. Uh, so as soon as I come back from my vacations, which are over on Sunday, well, for me, they're they're over on Saturday, but Sunday is my day off. But since Sunday, I mean, I can start doing overtime. And that's my plan. Uh, on, and there, imagine this, picture this. Each hour of overtime in my call center job is like $18. Uh, $18 this, per hour, hour on a day off. Uh, and that's because, I mean, it's like 400 times, right? What is it? 400%? Uh, is is so a regular overtime hour is double it's mm -hmm. double yes yeah but but on your day off if you work it's four it, i mean it's mm -hmm. four times the real value and on top of that they pay a bonus you know like six dollars per hour if you do for every hour you do is five more dollars extra uh -huh. you know that's right and how many hours they, do they let you work doesn't matter you can do as many hours as you can. And the great thing is that I'm not taking calls. I'm not taking uh, calls. I'm just resolving cases. Just resolving cases are without, you, uh, without the headsets. Back office. Back office. Ah, back office. Mm -hmm. so, and, and I love the job because it's, it's just resolving cases. It's just finance, uh, money laundering. You know, so it's very interesting. It's, it's, but mm. I, ju I just check documentations. That's it. If the documents are right, I just pay the money and that's it. No, oh, okay. it's, it's not difficult. It's very simple. So hopefully oh. I start on Sunday. I cannot say the right words because we are recording. <laughs> so, <laughs> I w I'm going to work really hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the way it is. And so uh, let me do the attendance so we can start talking, having a conversation like human beings. Um, tonight's class is the review of all the um, paired conjunctions. It's That's basically the topic, review all paired conjunctions. We're going to try to do it dynamic, you know, see some videos, understand a little bit more, do um, a role play together. Let's see. Um, where are you? Here you are. Carlos Alfredo Paloma Pineda. Present. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. She's there. Diana Elizabeth Cherguiño Martinez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Not today. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. I can't remember Juan Carlos' face. I don't know why. Okay. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Okay. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Norma Carolina Villeda Ávalos. Thank you, Marilena. Norma is not here. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cordejo. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. There she is. Thank you. Teacher, I'm here. Present. Sorry. Thank you, Christian. Yep, I got you. Okay, so let's start by talking an easy conversation. So who could describe today? What can you tell me? What did you do today? For example, as an example, since I'm on vacation, uh, we agreed Mind is, we agreed with my wife yesterday that I was keeping the car. I was keeping the car today. So when that happens, I have to drive the kids to school and then drop her at Planes de Renderos. 
which is an easy task. That is an easy task because there's not much traffic on Constitución. It's just Salvador del Mundo. Uh, you know, that's the, um, how do you say Cuello de Botella in English? That's, there's the traffic jam, okay? There's the, where the jam goes um, on Salvador del Mundo. But then everything's smooth, you know, we go to Los Plans. Coming back from Los Planes de Reneros is like 40, 45 minutes. What I do, and I have discovered now that I'm on vacation and when that happens, is that I can take Huizúcar all the way up through Los Planes. Mm -hmm. Man, it's beautiful, it's cold, I'm listening to music, I'm relaxing. So easy driving. And I love it. So I relaxed. I came back home at about 8.30. I had a coffee. Um, I spent time with my dog. I tried to relax a little bit. And then at 9.30, I went out for some more parts for the car. And I took the a part of the car that they needed to uh, put on a, on, a, on a bench, let's say. And correct it, you know, rectify the, the disc of the clutch. So I left it there, six dollars, was very inexpensive. And then I went for my kids. It was already noon, it was close to noon. Well, I actually went to Tienda Morena because I wanted to buy some things for my baby girl. She she's gonna be um what is it tomorrow? No, the 16th. On the 16th, she's turning eight. So we're very excited and we have we're having a party on Saturday. And that's it. I picked them up. I took the old the oldest one to Senar. And then we spent time with my other two kids at, at a park near Senar playing. And then we came back. Well, we went to pick my wife up at her job and we drove back home. I dropped back home, so I was really tired, actually. I took another shower, and then I started I started the class. If you noticed, I'm speaking about the past events, but at the same time, I'm saying normally, you know, I'm narrating what I usually do. Try to do that to sound natural. So let's see who would like to start. Tell me. What did you do today? Try to be specific. That's what I'm saying. I did nothing. Okay, make it up. Make it up. <laughs> That's the difficult part with adults. We, we, we need to use creativity. Let me give you an example. You know what? Today I woke up at 10 a.m. I didn't want to wake up. I just checked my finances on the computer. Then I called uh, Fernando. So I was like, Fernando, as usual, right? Bring me my breakfast, please. Then he brought me some Benedictinos, you know, eggs. And I ate it on the bed. Then I thought I should go to Las Vegas. So I took my jet. And on the way to Las Vegas, I called, um, I called Brittany, you know, she was okay to hang out and go to Las Vegas, but she said, she asked me to invite Johnny. So we called Johnny. She's a little bit depressed, you know, after the divorce. So we went to Las Vegas, we bet a little bit and I made another million dollars and that's it. Then for lunch, I didn't want to eat <clears throat> so we went to dance with Brittany I found my ex Katie you know Katie my ex-girlfriend Katy Perry so she wasn't very happy of seeing me you know and we took a flight to Paris on my jet and I dropped um, Brittany and um, and this other guy I forgot his name I usually forget his name so but I came back to El Salvador went to visit Naive and then came back home and doing nothing since. That's it. Boring. <laughs> Your turn. 
Try to be creative. Come it's on. It. Okay. Hey. Uh, about my my year, my 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 day. Uh, I wake up at four at four a.m. and then I help help to my wife because. Uh, she is a, a informal seller. Uh, I I help him to prepare different uh, products, and then I I went to my to my work at. Uh, 7:30 a.m. and well, I I go to my uh, I arrive at 8 a.m. to my work, and then I prepare uh, the different uh, documents, and then I I left the office and visited different. A client, but the uh, may I may I told you that the traffic in at 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 morning was very very heavy at morning, but um, twelve noon the traffic was crazy, teacher, <laughs> crazy, crazy. And, uh, and I, I was uh, running or very quick to visit uh, the client and because I, I I was thinking if this client don't receive me the document, uh, I will have to, to visit it one more time, of, of course, uh, at the afternoon but um to uh, well, well i i take my lunch and then i rest uh, 30 minutes and then i i continue with my others uh, uh, my with my duty and then i return to my house and well i I was a, a a short time with my daughter and my and my wife, and then I I rest a a, a little, and because I had to to be in the class. Awesome. <laughs> <That's all teacher. laughs> nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel. That was excellent. We have to work on simple past. That's very important for everybody in this class. Yes. Not not just you. It's all of us. Remember, the verbs must be in past. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me copy this and let's see. Let's look at the chat. Woke up. So yeah, woke up, not wake up. But I didn't get I didn't get the next verb. I didn't get what you were saying, but it was help. Help. Yes, nope. help. Mm -hmm. There you go. Help. 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 Yes. Uh, one past. more time. Help. Help. In the manera, in, in, in presente. Help. Help. Ahí está. Help. Past. Helped. Help. That sound T. Help. Yeah. There you go. Helped. Helped. Perfect. You got it. You got it. Man. Helped. Watch this video again. Look at yourself. Look at your face. And repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, again, so we have, I helped my wife because she is an informal seller. I don't need to say to my wife. I helped my wife. Right? Not to. Okay. I helped my wife. Okay. Uh, so not to, because she is an informal seller. Okay. You know what? Instead of informal seller, 
You could call her. She's an entrepreneur. 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 She's an entrepreneur because she's an entrepreneur. But there is a there is a, 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 a other word. You know what? You're trying to say that she is a vendor. Vendor. But there is a, a there is a there is another another saying it's just that it's just that saying informal seller sounds too Spanish. You know, like literally translated from Spanish to English. She's an informal seller. No, she's a vendor. Vendor. Because that's what vendors are. People selling in the street, people selling yeah. products everywhere. You know, those are vendors. And if she owns her own business, then she's an entrepreneur. Right? Comercio informal. Uh, informal what commerce. Did you, what did you say? Informal, informal commerce. commerce. Okay. She's she is on the informal commerce market. Okay. Like, informal it's, it's, it's more it's more large. Is larger. Is larger. It is larger. Yes, you got it. So, and I kept hearing this. I had her. I help her. Help her. Help her. Oh, help. Helped her. Sí, I, but, uh, vamos a ver tres pronunciaciones. Primero, decir infierno en pasado. Eh, en, en decir infierno. Hell. Hell. Ahora le vas a agregar la P con los labios. Help. 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 Y ojo todos, a este punto, si algo te cuesta, exagera la articulación. Exagera la. Poco a poco lo vas a ir perfeccionando, ¿ok? Help. 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 Ahora pasado. Helped. 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 You got it. Ahí. Perfect. Ok. At the 7.30. At 7.30. At 7.30. At 7.30. You don't need the article. Remember, at 7.30. Okay. I arrived to work to my work. I arrived to my, my job. To my job. I arrived to my job at about, I don't know. May I tell you? Uh, this is an expression. Let me tell you. Okay. Another way of saying that is, if I, if I can tell you, man, if I can tell you, if I will tell you, traffic, okay. the I traffic was you. crazy. I was running very quick. Very good. I was running very quick. I was in a rush. Man, rush. I was in a rush at noon. Traffic was crazy. It was in insane. New word. Instead of crazy, Diego, where's Diego? Instead of crazy, try to say insane. Insane. Man, <laughs> that's insane. That's insane. The traffic was insane. You got it. Sounds better. Okay. Uh, if this client don't receive me, then I thought if this client doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. Yeah. Yes. If this client doesn't receive me. Okay. At the noon. Okay. We say in. Noon. We just say at noon. In noon. And I'm sorry. It says at the afternoon. No, 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 no. In the afternoon. 12. Yeah, remember, you can say in the morning, in the afternoon, sí. in the evening. Y a las 12 del mediodía. And that's it. Then you go at noon. At noon. Again, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. At noon. At noon. At night. At midnight. That's at it. At night, at midnight. Mm hmm in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay. okay. You can also say at dusk. At dusk. Al atardecer. Al caer la noche. Oh. At dusk. At dusk. Dusk. Yeah. Madrugada. I just forgot how to say madrugada. I think it's dusk too. I can't remember. Okay. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I returned to my house. I came back home. Back Sounds home. better. You, you're right. I returned to my house. No, I came back home. I came back home. Unless you have more than one house, right? If you have three wives, you know, and like 10 kids, then you have three homes. 
with three houses, right? Okay, so um, I came back home. I rested, 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 and then I rested it for a little. And then okay. I rested for a little. Then I rested for a little. Repeat. Then I rested for a little. Then I rested for a little. For a little. For a little. For a little. Okay. There you go. So let's work together. Let's make a dynamic to break the ice. So I'll send you to your WhatsApp. <laughs> yes, Susanna, I know. Today is like, what? Valentine's? Happy Valentine's to everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Teacher, eh, así en español, usted dijo, usted dijo que en vez de decir me too, hay que, puede, puede decir otra palabra. Hmm. Dice algo, en vez de que yo le diga me too, yo también. Ah, ah ok. Uh, de dejaba de tarea eso de cómo contesto. Pero es que usted manera, lo ahí, pero no lo pude anotar. Así como de manera positiva. Yo también. Sí, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo afirmo que estoy de acuerdo con alguien? Ya sea que esta persona haya dicho algo negativo o algo positivo. Okay. I'm fat. A ver, let's try. No vamos a decir me too. I'm fat. I'm fat. Sí, contestenme. I'm fat. Estoy gordo. I'm fat. Uh -huh. ah, Wendy, no. Ah, Wendy, Wendy. No, no, no. Answer me. Ah, ok, ok, ya lo entendí. Pero que tenemos que contestarle. Yo también. Me too. Pero no vas a decir me too. Ah, eso es lo que yo no sé cómo. <ríe> uh -huh. Teacher, is the, the phrase Agreement or agree or is is part oh, of. Oh, good. I agree. I disagree. I disagree or I di or I agree. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. So do I. I agree. I disagree. So do I. Neither do I. I, I have. Say so. Same here. So do I, dijo. So do I. Very common, likewise. Likewise, but that's something else. My God, hold on. I'm having trouble opening this image on another window. I just want to. There you go. Why is this not opening? Sorry, guys. Let me just try to do this. I want to send you a little chart that I couldn't share here. I just Google it and it's very useful. Okay, there you go. So if I say I'm happy and you want to agree, I'm so happy. So am I. So am I. I'm using the verb to be, so you answer with the verb to be. Uh, look at the next one. Peter is ill. Man, Peter and John had a car accident. Peter is ill. Somebody? Uh, so is... So is... John. So, is John. so is John. Faster. So is John. También, que significa que hay otra persona. Exacto. Es, todo esto significa también tal cosa. También yo, también tú, también mm. él. Uh, también Wendy puede. Ah, okay. ok. Yo también lo tengo. Let's, I let's like continue. Sushi. So I like sushi. I. So do I. Igual que a mí, yo la traducción que tú le quieras dar. Uh -huh. um, she likes Peruvian food. So do I. Hey, nice. So you're, she's going to like you. That's great. You have something in common. That's good. Okay. I went to the cinema last week. 
Y si That's... quiere decir, ¿no? So I did. Mm. So, I, so no. did I. So did I. Be careful. Ah, so did I. Ese es el punto de este ejercicio, de ese mm. cuadro. Noten que el auxiliar va antes del sujeto. Muy interesante. Um, para negar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't go. No, I haven't gone in a while. Ok. Esto es como dar la opinión sobre lo que alguien más dice. Ok. I, I can swim very well. So can I. So can I. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't. Oh, I couldn't. I, I, I never can't. learned. Oh, I never no, learned. I can't. Man, that's awesome. I never learned. Good for you. Para, an... para negar, teacher. Lo so, que te acabo so, de decir. <laughs> so, I never learned to swim. Man, that's great. Good for you. Mm. I never learned. I, I can't swim. Okay. I'm going home. There to be. I'm going home. So am I. So am I. Solo tengo un estudiante en el salón. Okay, Manuel, good. <laughs> okay, I have got a bike. I have got a bike. So have I. So have I. Have I. So have I. Okay. I've been to London. I have been to London. So I never been to London. Okay. And so on. And there are many others. You can use neither. And that's to neglect. Uh, para ser negativas, como decía Manuel. Puedo ocupar neither. Ahora, ¿puedo estar de acuerdo con una oración negativa que alguien me diga? Another screenshot. Give me just a minute. Okay, and this is a little bit more explicit. I'm just answering Manuel's question, which I believe is very important. So, I am not tired. I'm saying that I'm not tired. Negative. Okay? Neither am I. And neither am I. Neither am I. ¿A quién no puede decir so am I? Okay. Porque estoy diciendo que no estoy cansado. Mm -hmm. Yo tampoco yo, diría yo así. Tampoco. Ni yo, ajá. Neither am I. ¿Y qué quería decir neither? Ni. Ni. Good Ni. job, no. Good job. So I'm not tired. Neither am I. Ni yo tampoco. Okay. I don't like studying. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither but, do I. but we have Neither to do, do it. I. Okay. Justin, I mean, John doesn't like music. Neither does Tim. Neither does Tim. Y si quisiese decir ni yo tampoco. Neither am I. Mm. Una acción. Neither do I. Neither do I. Ojo con eso. Verbo to be o auxiliar do, eh. Mm, okay. Acuérdense yeah, eso. Mira, pasado simple. I wasn't ready. Neither was I. Neither was I. Y si fuese tampoco ella, ni ella. Neither was she. Hey, you got it, Manuel. Good job. Okay, you were in the best. Neither were you. Neither were you. Y si fuese ni tampoco él. Neither were he. Neither. Oh, was. Neither was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, don't forget. Was where. Was where. Yes. Okay. Huh. I got you. I didn't go to bed late. Neither do I. Neither. Did I. Neither oh. did I. Y si fuese tampoco María? Neither did she. María. Neither What? did María. Neither did María. Uh -huh. Yes, you can use names. Look at the next example. Sally hasn't called yet. Neither has Bill. Neither has Bill. Y si fuese tampoco Joel, Bill y Jorge? 
Neither day. Neither is day. ¿Y el auxiliar? Has. Has. Neither has day. Mm. Has day. Has then. Mm. Has day. Have day. Have. Ah. Neither have day. Neither have day. Ah, have day. Ni day. ellos. Ni okay. ellos tampoco. Ojo, eh. Ojo. Aterrizando. Estamos aterrizando eso súper bien. Ok. I won't be at the office. Neither will I. Ellos tampoco. Neither will they. Yes, neither will they. You got it. Tom can speak French. Ojo, capacidad. Um, capability, possibility. When you want to say that you can or cannot do something. Ojo con los modales. En, en otras palabras, en este cuadro te puedes ubicar en que el modal, o más bien el auxiliar que estás ocupando, lo vas a ocupar para afirmar que tú tampoco o que ni tú has hecho o eres eso, ¿ok? Se ocupa un Neither can. Neither can. Neither can Mary, right? Mary. Tom can speak French. Neither can Mary. Neither can I. Neither can I. You got it. You got it. Ok. You shouldn't be here. Neither, neither shouldn't be. Neither should. Neither should you. You. No. Neither should you. Ni tú tampoco neither deberías. Should I. Con ese neither should you, neither should I, estoy diciendo, ni tú tampoco deberías estar acá. Ok. Ni tú tampoco. Neither should you. Questions? I think this is very self-explanatory. Look at the chart on the right. It says neither plus the auxiliary verb plus the subject. And that's it. Okay. Just be careful with the auxiliaries for both cases. Okay. I think this is nice. Yes. Very good. Come on. I think this is nice. So do I. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. I think this is nice. So am um, I. Aquí es donde viene, aquí es donde viene la discrepancia, ¿no? Estoy, ¿qué estoy ocupando? I think this is nice. Es una acción o estoy ocupando un verbo to be? Es una acción, entonces tú me vas a decir, yo también lo pienso. Entonces es una acción, entonces Manuel estaba bien. So do I. So do I, porque estoy hablando de pensar, una acción. Ok. I think she loves me. <risa> I think she loves me. What did you say? <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Come on. En tus sueños. Come on. I think she loves me. Acuérdense que estamos poniendo... Me, me tenés que dar una oración para decirme que estás de acuerdo con eso. Huh? I think she loves me. I saw the... So do, so do I. I. So do I. Oh. So do I. <laughs> Ahí me están diciendo yo también. Oh, Tengan cuidado. She. Okay. Oh, she. So do I. She loves you. <laughs> so does she. So does she. Ahí está muy bien, Wendy. So does she. Ella también. ¿Ya? Ella también cree que tú. ¿Ya? Uy, cuidado, qué bueno que estamos aclarando eso, porque si se encuentra con un gringo, <ríe> dice eso, a la chica, vea. I think she loves me. So do I. Yo también pienso. So do I think. So do I think. Oh, my God. Y de la que les acabo de salvar, oh, my God. So do I say, so do I think this? So do I think. So do I think so? 
I think so. No, lo más apropiado, correcto, muy bien, Manuel, sería I think so. I think so. O puedes contestar con una pregunta. Do you think so? Do you think so? Ah, uh, ok. O si hay confianza, es tu chero el que te dice esto. I think she loves me. Tú puedes contestarlo mexicano. Nah. <laughs> Ok, good. Y esto que lo quiero ver más frecuentemente, señores de avanzado, expresiones, expressions. So, voy a empezar con Nelson y luego me muevo a mi derecha con Wendy, Silvia, luego Manuel, Susana, Marielena, Carlos, Diego, Diana, Cristian, Juan Carlos, ok. Give me an expression. Any expression. Wendy acaba de hacer la gest los gestos. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You got it, Wendy. I don't know. I don't That's know. Nice. You got it. I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Más, duda, más dudosa. I don't know. Uh -huh. Silvia. Mm -hmm. Así, Silvia, pero... <laughs> Come on, Silvia, think, think. Manuel. What is the expression, teacher? Any I... expression. Oh, my oh. God. I don't know. Another one? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is that? Oh my God. No, 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 no repitamos. Tiene no. que ser una diferente a la de los compañeros anteriores. Ah, so ya tenemos, oh my God. I don't know. What the hell? Uh, no, <laughs> sin el hell. What? Bien, Diego, te la voy a tomar. What? Ok. Think, think, Silvia. Manuel. I think don't. I think not. I think don't. I, I, I don't know. I think don't. I have a doubt. You have a doubt. I have a doubt. Man. Más natural. Mm, I'm in doubt. Mm, I'm in doubt. I'm in doubt. Okay, Susana. Maria Elena. Like a pie. Like a pie, a pie, piece of, like cake. A piece no, of piece cake. cake. You got it. Piece of cake. Nah, that's piece of cake. Carlos. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? When you say hello. Okay, Diego. Yes. Okay, Diego. Diana. Diego. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to the right. Diego. Diana. Hey. <laughs> I don't like all this. <laughs> I know, Diego, you're next to Diana, so I'm sorry. Diana, are you there? No, Diana is, is not feeling well. Cristia, she's working on a thesis. Juan Carlos, are you with us? Are you insane? I love it. Are you insane? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? But that's, that's when someone does something really strange, right? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> doesn't matter. matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. Like it. Good. It's okay. No trouble. Doesn't matter. Um, give me a break. That's a very natural one. Uh, come on. Give me a break. Come on. Repeat. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Uh-huh. Come on, give me a break. Vamos. Mi ex jefa decía eso mucho. Oh, vamos, decía. Oh, vamos. Oh, come on. That's the meaning. Give me oh, a break. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Uh -huh. Es como, ay, por favor, teacher, no. In good, in good Salvadorian, in good Salvadorian, que pa. Like that. Oh, come on, give me a break. Uh huh. You're, you, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 
kidding me. Repeat, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Nelson? You got it? You gotta um, be kidding me. Are you not? Okay, repeat, you gotta be kidding me. Huh? You gotta be kidding me. You got it. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Okay, I hope you understood. It's very natural to say expressions in English. That the simple, the simple word, Sylvia. What? That's an expression. What? Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. The other expression is no way. No way, Jose. Yeah. No way. No way. No, no, no. No way. Um, how do you say "como heel in English? Really? How do you say como así in English? Les voy a contar la historia trágica de mi vida. Resulta que me casé con una señora de 45 años. La señora tenía una hija. Mi padre que enviudó se casó con su hija. Entonces ahora yo era el padrastro de mi papá y ella era la madrastra. Y mi madrastra. Okay. Really? ¿No han visto ese video? En TikTok. No. Ok, no. Oh, my God. So, al final, you go like, ¿Cómo así? Because he, he makes a drawing, a whole drawing of the whole situation. And they had babies. And now the kid is my grandson. And also he is my brother. It's my brother and my grandson. Es mi nieto y es mi hermano también. Wow. And it's true. It happens. So how do you say, como así? No idea? No idea, teacher. There you go. Another expression. No idea. Okay. Last one. How come? How come? Nah. How come? How come? And they use it a lot. Gringos, Americans use it a lot. How come? More funny. Run that by me again. Run that by me again. Would you run that by... I'm sorry. Would you run that by me again? Would you run that by me again? Would you run that by me again? Run that by me again? And so on, right? Beg your pardon. And that's a question, I'm sorry. Beg your pardon? Pardon? Eso es muy natural y muy usado, chicos. Beg your pardon? Pardon? En lugar de decir, repeat, please. Don't say repeat, please. Okay? Pardon? Beg your pardon? Pardon? Mm -hmm. Perdón? Le ruego, le ruego me perdone. Yeah. Okay. Beg your pardon. Run that by me again. Córremela de nuevo. O sea, repítamelo. Please. It's natural expressions. Okay. How, how come? How come? ¿Y ese cuál es siempre? How come? Así? It's a question. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo así? How come? How come? How come? Okay. Got it? Got it? You got it? Got it. I got it. Okay, so this is the game right now. I'm going to send you some sentences to your WhatsApp and here through the chat at the same time. Les voy a enviar unas oraciones en el WhatsApp y acá. Y lo único que van a hacer ustedes es responderme. Okay? This is the first dynamic that we're going to do. So, yo voy a hacer una oración y ustedes me responden con la que crean conveniente, la que crean que hace juego con lo que yo digo. So, sentence number one. Both Peter Both Peter You can do this typing on the chat if you want on the Zoom chat that will be, good. That will be okay. And I are coming next week. <laughs> you got it. Yes, both. Type it, type it. Both Peter and I 
Mm -hmm. Are coming next week. You got it. Let's go with the next one. Ready? Next one. Students who do well not only study hard. Students who do well not only study hard. <laughs> That's a nice sentence. Students who do well not only study hard. Think. What is the per conjunction that we're using? But also. Mm-hmm. Excellent, but also use their instincts if they do not know the answer. Very good, that's the next pair. Let's go with the next one. Next, the story was. Someone else, the story was. Oh, neither true nor <laughs> realistic. You got it both. Yes, neither true nor realistic. Hey, good job. The story was neither true nor realistic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where's everybody? Carlos, what's going on? Susana, Diego. Oh, Diego is busy. Uh, Juan Carlos, Marilena, come on, Wendy. Next. Either Jack, hold on. Either Jack will have to work more hours. This is difficult. Either Jack will have to work more hours. Only Nelson is giving the answers. Come on, guys. Wanna see you shine. Or we will have to hire somebody new. Okay, come on, guys, wake up. El uso de either or, ya sea o, either or, ya sea o. Es lo mismo que hemos estado viendo con neither nor. Okay, next. In the end, doesn't even matter. In the end, he had to choose. Wendy? The answer, the answer for the last is, or we will have to hire somebody new. You got it. Correct. Look at, look at the example that I sent. Okay. Either Jack will have to work more hours or yes. we will have to hire somebody new. Okay, yes. Eh, traducido porque no hemos visto eso ya sea que Jack perdón, ya sea sea que ya sea que Jack mm, es como decir, o bien Jack trabajará más tendrá que trabajar más horas o tendremos que contratar a alguien nuevo ok, in the end he had to choose yo either. creo que teacher, yo creo que es o o either Either or. Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, either or. That's it, yes. Well, though, tú dices, Manuel, así como, o Jack uh -huh. deberá trabajar más horas, o deberemos contratar a alguien nuevo. Correcto. También se puede traducir así. In the end, he had to choose either his career or his hobby. 
al final tuvo que elegir ya sea su carrera o su hobby ok, vamos, alguien más solo Nelson me está dando las respuestas come on guys, Wendy, Wendy sometimes it is necessary look at the examples that I send you vean el listado de respuestas que le di entonces ya eliminamos oh. varias ¿cuáles faltan? sometimes it is <risa> neither true nor realistic eso ya lo ocupamos realistic hagan grande el chat de eso also Zoom. interesting no. mm. ojo sometimes, sometimes it is, is Sí. Sometimes it is not only wise to yes. listen to your parents, but also interesting. You interesting. got it. You got it. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. That was great. Let's see. So let me write. Oh, wow. Wow. There were the two last one. Sorry. Esa era la respuesta. Uh, so. Sometimes it is not only wise to listen to your parents, but also interesting. Se me fue el enter, chicos. I will love to take. Y not only do we want to go. Esas son dos horas, las dos que hacen falta. So, hagamos la primera. I will love to take. Como complemento su oración. I will, I will love to take. Dentro de mi oración no hay un per conjunction. No hay, un, no hay conectores aparejados dentro de mi oración. Both my laptop and my cell phone on holiday. Yes, I would love to take both. My laptop and my cell phone on holiday. Okay. And the last one. Not only do we want to go. Not only. But we have enough money. You got it. Not only do we want to go, but we have enough money. Aquí falta algo. ¿Qué falta? ¿Cómo era el per conjunction? No es solamente not only. But also. But also but we have enough money. You got it. But also we have enough money. Okay. This was a great exercise, but not everybody was were, was participating. So, let's go with the next set of exercises. Yeah, let's go with these exercises so you can do them together. Ahora, quiero que sea muy um, cariñosos. No sé cómo llamarle eso. Quiero que participen con sus compañeros y puedan um, aportar el equipo. No Lo voy a dividir para que hagamos este ejercicio que acabo de ponerles en el WhatsApp. Igual lo voy a enviar acá. Estoy hablando en español porque necesito que salgamos de esto rápido. O sea, en el sentido de unirlos para aprovechar el tiempo. So, Ayuden a su compañero. Let's do one together. Okay? But I need you to give your opinion. For example, we could fly. We could go by train. Who can give me the answer? We need to use, look at the uh, instructions. Combine the following sentences into one sentence using paired conjunctions, 
both and not only but also either or neither nor so you have four different per conjunctions which one do i use we could fly we could go by train not only no. we could fly but also we could go by train okay digamos que yo soy un compañero mario y me quedo um excuse me mario what why that why are you using not only but also <laughs> uh, because uh, in the sentence there is the in the both there is the possibility or there is saying that he can do uh, the two things like and both things. things yeah both things mm. Mm. Can I say we could both fly and we could go by train? Can I say that? Mm. No, right? Okay. Okay, I got it. So not only we could fly, but also we could go by train. Thank you. That was nice. So, el punto es que su compañero entienda. Okay? Good? So, you got it? Oh, my yeah. God. Come on, guys. It's Tuesday. Isn't it? Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. It's just Tuesday, guys. Wake up. Okay, <laughs> let's go. We're going to do three groups. Four students on each group. Awesome. We are 12. Please, let's do this. Uh, un anuncio comercial. Si no han hecho todas las tareas, deben de estar hasta el midterm, por lo menos, para esta noche. Era ayer, de hecho. Para que yo pueda actualizar esta noche todas las notas, ¿ok? Let's go. Teacher, in the first in the first uh, sentence, uh, you you said not only we we could fly, but also we could go by train. But in the past uh, class, the uh, previous class. The previous class, you said uh, we don't we don't need to to use the the word that repeat. It's true. You then, got it. Yeah. Then the 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 the, the uh, sentence is it could be uh, not only we could fly but also go by train. You got it, Manuel. Thank you. Yes, it is true. I just send it through the WhatsApp. Not only we could fly, but also go by train. Okay. You got it. Awesome. And the, the second. I don't know. You tell me. Yes. Work okay. work as a group. Work as a team. I think she will have to study hard. Mm, repeat the she will. I think it the it the it the, the same, not also. She will have to study hard. But also concentrate to do well on the exam. Not only and but also. Not only but also. Mm -hmm. 
Not only, yes, I, I agree with you. Not only she mm -hmm. will have to study hard, she, but also she will have to concentrate to do well on the exam. The 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 next Jack is not here. Tom is in another city. No, but um, but Jack is not here, and Tom is in another city. I yes. think because two person. Yes, I agree. Both. Both, both. Yeah. Jack is not here, and uh -huh. Tom is in another city. Both, both. Both and mm. and and the speaker will not confirm. The in near north, what do you think? Near north. In which? In the. Jack is not free. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. No, no. I don't think. Mm. I think because it's uh, are two person. Jack yes. is not here and Tom is in another city. I agree. Uh -huh. The speaker will... It's both. Bob and... Okay. Yes, okay. And... and the the next speaker will not confirm the story. The speaker will not confirm the story. The speaker will not deny the story. Both, um, both, 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 and near, 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 no, no, oh. no, because the sentence is in negative. Uh, near, no, no, because neither, ne neither, neither, nor is negative. If the sentence are in negative, will mm -hmm. not, will not. Yes, in a, in the platform, in example, mm -hmm. in negative. The speaker mm, I think that the story. when we use uh, neither, we don't have to use negative because mm -hmm. neither is negative. Mm -hmm. no, okay. In this case, the the speaker neither confirm the story. Oh well nor, if we change that nor yes. then it is the history. Yeah. Change change the negative. Neither. Ah, yes. Neither or neither nor. Neither nor. Mm -hmm. neither, okay. neither, nor. neither the speaker will confirm neither, nor the nor. story nor yes. no. deny not. the story. Will not. Not, no. That's nice neither thing. nor yes. 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 Neither the speaker will not confirm the story. No. Neither, no. No. Neither, no. No. Neither, no. Neither, no. neither the speaker will confirm the story. Yes. Nor yes. deny the story. Ah, yes. not, deny the story. Nor deny the story. Nor deny the story. Pneumonia is dangerous. This is this. Smallpox is a dangerous ill, uh, but also, or oh, no. Pneumonia is a dangerous disease. 
smallpox is a el not, el, not only in but also no not only but also maybe could be not only yeah. pneumonia is dangerous not disease, pneumonia but dangerous also smallpox is, is a dangerous okay. illness. Okay. But only, yes, not, not only, but also. Not only, but also. Yes. Yeah. Fred loves love traveling. Uh, both. He wants to go around the world. Both. 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 Love both, traveling both. and wants to go around the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, both. And both. 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 Fred and Jane love traveling or no? Both. Fred. Um, I don't know in three. Um, not only that. Maybe either. Jack is not here, or um, it's another city. I'm not sure about the third one. Maybe neither Jack is not here, nor Tom is in another city. Mm. I don't know. Um, in the fourth one, it could be neither the speaker will not confirm the story nor deny the story. I mean, I'm kind of confused with that, with those uh, those examples. Bien, por eso estamos acá reunidos, para que algún otro compañero aporte y diga, mira, yo tengo dudas, aunque me hablen español ahorita, yo quiero escucharlos debatiendo y entendiendo cada uno de los paired conjunctions. O sea, ¿cuál crees que va ahí? ¿Por qué? ¿Ya? En cada uno de los ejemplos. So, solo hay cuatro opciones. Como dicen los mexicanos, solo hay de cuatro sopas. <ríe> Hay que elegir uno y hallarle sentido. Ese es el punto. Ok, so, everybody, come on, guys. Y si es posible, enciendan su cámara, participen, por favor. Okay. Pensando, no sé, pensando que es el voz. Ayer, ayer, playing tennis is good, is good for, for your health. health. Mm -hmm. And jogging is good for your No health. tengan pena de hablar en español <laughs> si lo que están haciendo es entender la gramática, ¿eh? Mm -hmm. No hay ningún problema. Prefiero mm -hmm. eso y asegurarnos de que están comprendiendo por qué cada cosa. 
hay, como les acabo de decir el otro grupo, hay de cuatro sopas nada más. Solo cuatro opciones, tenés como dicen los mexicanos, hay de cuatro sopas nada más. Hay cuatro opciones nada más. Entonces, ¿qué tiene más sentido en cada oración? Ese es el punto. Mm -hmm. Ok, so keep okay. going, continúen, no se preocupen. Ok. For me is 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 uh, not only both. both. No, both. No, for me is both. Both, both. For... Y aunque sea heard y held, Carlos, diferente. For Carlos, oh, I I think that is not only but also. Not only but also. No, <laughs> not only but also. You tell me that. No, I don't know. What is your position, teacher? Because because there is a, a, we are, we disagree we the disagree last. good Carlos the last good. one playing tennis is good for your heart jogging is good for your health for me is uh, don't don't, don't worry let's no. analyze this vamos a analizar esto ambas oraciones son algo bueno no sí mm -hmm. Pues good for your room. heart, good for your health. Vamos. Not only, not only, vamos, not only playing tennis is good for your heart, but also for your health. Not only playing tennis, oh, no, 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 but we have two things. Yes. Not only playing uh, tennis is good for your heart, but your also heart? jogging is good for your health. Your health. Option one. Both. Playing tennis and jogging are good for your health. For me, it's both. Yeah, either yes. or. Ya sea, uno o la otra. It's okay. Okay. Either, either or. or. It's okay either or. Yeah, solo que con not only but also suena como bien largo. Sí. Not yeah. only playing tennis mm -hmm. is good for your heart, but also jogging is good for your health. Hmm. Es más apropiado el both and. Both and. Okay. That's right. Okay. So, so you're both done. And. Yes. You're done? Okay. Good. Let's go back then. Let's go back. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so that was a nice exercise, actually. Um, thank you for participating. Bien, eh, ya estamos todos de regreso, perdón, un minuto de español de nuevo. Eh, Se siente raro, le diré que el podría decirse 40 de cuarenta por ciento de la clase. No ha podido participar este día. Sí, pues los minutos cuentan y todo, pero es bien difícil, ¿no? Es un poco, eh, no sé cómo llamarle, problemático, un, pro, un poco, um, no sé, difícil coordinar, ¿no? Eh, la clase de esta manera, pues muchos no, es, no pueden participar, pero hagamos lo que podamos o... For the next exercise, <laughs> you know what? Let's do a pause because there is a topic uh, pending from yesterday um, and we have to create a discussion as we usually do in the class. So yesterday's topic was about training and development and we have to, we had to discuss a little bit 
about the the pros you know what is the what are the benefits of you being trained Cristia está poniendo Cristia hola Christia. hello I have uh, some issues with my camera but I don't know why <laughs> Para yeah. mí que ha grabado un pedazo de video y lo está reproduciendo no. repet en repetidas veces. No, no. Esto de, de una película lo sacó. That's so funny. Oh my God, crazy. Okay, just making sure it's you, okay? Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, so the point is, why is it important? What are the benefits? So it's two videos. One is a minute and a half. It's just a minute and a half. And the second one is like two minutes as well. It's an interview to an entrepreneur. 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 Okay. An author, 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 and CEO of learning. Okay. So a chairman, executive officer, CEO. That's the meeting. So. Let me share this with you. This is on your book, actually. The link is on your book, but let me share it with you really quick. So this is the first video. We're just going to stay here as usual. Stay here. Watch the video. Understand it so we can have a discussion at the end, okay? Okay, let's go with the first video. Ya les envío el siguiente link también para que lo vean continuamente, a continuación del, del otro. One, two, three, let's go.
Let me know whenever you're ready. Two videos, teacher. Yeah, the second one is just 50 seconds. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're done. Yes, I'm done. I'm done. Um, I'm done. Teacher, I'm done. Uh, do you recommend to uh, to see and, and listen to video with a, with a, a subtitle? With closed captioning, with subtitles, any English, yes. Yeah, because the previous teacher, uh, she doesn't like we. He didn't we, like. She, she didn't like. Yes, I, I, I saw. I, I told. I told. Uh, I told. I told her. I told him. I no no. Uh, I, I said she doesn't like because right now she does. <laughs> <laughs> but was for sure she didn't like we we but you the but uh, you recommend I always recommend you to understand I mean make your brain get get the English in every possible way yeah que la, que la mente absorba el inglés en toda manera posible so okay. ver las letras okay. y estar escuchando hace que tu cerebro entienda que lo que está escuchando está en otro idioma. Correcto, correcto. Y yo relaciona, tenía... relaciona, ¿no? Relaciona, sí. Es. Yo tenía la duda porque si poco entiendo y, y no veo letra, obviamente me va a costar más, quizás, o no voy a entender prácticamente porque lo que dijo la señora en el segundo video, lo primerito no lo entendí. Yeah. Le pregunto... Es como, eh, a ver, Manuel, para que, que, que quedemos claros en esto y creo que nos va a servir de mucho a todos. Cuando tú estás escuchando una canción o estás escuchando alguna charla en español, en inglés, en ruso, en lo que sea, ¿qué hace tu mente? ¿A dónde ves? O te pones a ver a la persona que está hablando y de tu cerebro, ¿qué información está percibiendo por tus ojos? Tienes que cerrar los ojos para poner atención a un audio. Ojo con esto. En cambio, si tú estás viendo las letras, tu cerebro se está enfocando en relacionar el sonido con las palabras escritas. So, okay. Yes. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Good, good, good. Everybody else is ready? Is everybody else ready? Yes. I'm done. Okay. Nelson? Okay. Why? I'm done too. <laughs> so, Remember, you are business owners and you are employees too. So employers, employees. So from the employer perspective, why is it investing such an important thing? You know, investing on, on, on learning and developing the personal. The, the woman... <laughs> She, she needs the employee continue learning. She was talking about the loyalty for emplo, emplo, employers. Wait, for, for the employer, loyalty is important. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I remember. Uh, she was talking also the for the invest invest for training okay she was talking about investing on trainings okay why is that important guys why is it important to to invest on trainings Oh, also uh, the employ the em employee employers, uh, employee uh, yeah, no the employers okay. don't leave the company. Wait, no, the employees don't leave the company. The employees don't leave mm -hmm. because they feel motivated. Yes. Okay. What do you think, guys? You feel motivated when they trained you 
to do your job better? Mario, Juan Carlos. Kind of, uh, because, uh, yeah. you know, if, if you know those uh, knowledge or that knowledge will help you in the future uh, in another job. Mm, are you sure? Yes, for me, I, I, I see it in that way. Because I, see, I see it. I see it that way. Good answer. I see it in that way because uh, I try to learn as much as possible, uh, as much as possible mm -hmm. uh, to also not only to do my, uh, my, my, my job in a better way, but uh, so to put in practice or in a future job or in a future position. Hmm. Now, I have a question for you. Um, I'm sorry, let me cross my legs. I'm tired. Maybe in the video, um, it's talk about growth, the employee in the company. Uh, if uh, learning someone else, maybe the employers, the employees, um, can be paid more money can get paid better, repeat can get, can get paid better. Can Wait, can get better paid, uh, can get paid better. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So it's a way for the employees to grow and earn, earn more money, make more money, earn more money. Okay, now going back to Nelson, and thank you, Marilena, to, to both, to Marilena and Nelson. So if I grow as an employee, let's say, let's talk about Nelson, uh, about the airline, airline industry. Mm -hmm. What's your company, Marilena? What do they do? Fundación Educo. Yeah, what do they do? I am a technical project. Okay, but ¿qué hace la empresa? What do they do? Um, development project. Oh, okay. Uh, so there, they, you work with local development projects. Yes. For Pro schools. Pro proyectos de desarrollo local. Okay. That's good. Now, question to you both. If they train you to do better projects, to know how to manage projects. I don't know if this topic is in this course, project management. I think it is, but I, I can't remember right now. But let's say they develop you as an employee to do project management better. Nelson, they train you to be a better, um, let's say, to have better understanding of the airline industry, to know their system better, how it works and everything. In the future, can you use this knowledge in another company? In, in my case, I, I think that maybe the airline part, or specifically the, the airline area mm -hmm. knowledge, couldn't uh, use it in an, another job, but uh, you also learn a, a lot of uh, uh, another skills like how to manage people or uh, how to uh, treat the customer or customer service. Uh, they mm -hmm. help you to, to develop the customer skills, the customer service skills. Mm -hmm. uh, and that part, I, I think that it could help me in another job. Or, job. Uh, mm -hmm. And also, uh, I have a, a small business, uh, so I can implement. I can implement that uh, uh, th those knowledge or this knowledge, this knowledge in 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 my my business. Hmm. Okay, what are you, what do you think, Marilena? If they train you, um, 
in the future, if you don't have this job, will it help you in another job? Maybe is the reason for me, but for the company, they need the people to stay in, 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 I don't know, how do you say, puesto de trabajo. In their positions. In, in, yes, in the position um, for more time because in every single year uh, have new employees they need learning new employees and this is not good for the company you heard did you hear guys okay uh, I guess there is a maybe general skills that uh, you can develop with some training uh, that can help uh, in maybe uh, every kind of job. I mean, uh, if you receive some training about uh, customer service skill, uh, for sure, if your company it's a if you move to the to your, the, this company to another company where you will need the this kind of knowledge for sure that you will use it but mm. sometimes uh, there is some specific uh, training to to an industry uh, for example, uh, the company where I work is uh, in the maritime industry. The maritime industry is uh, so it's extends. Ex extends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's, so wide. Extends. Yeah, and yes, wide. Uh, but is uh, kind of not explored how do you say it, it, it is uh manejada manage yeah it's maybe it's managed with a little number of companies or people uh and it, it, it's it's a big industry but uh, como que no está muy explotada. I don't know how, how, to, how to and it's not it's this. not it's not fully exploded it's not yeah. fully exploded it's not fully exploded explode 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 red 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 uh -huh. exploded exploded okay exploded uh, but in my company uh, they don't uh, they don't spend any time or money to train us in order to learn more about it. Time's money. Yeah, I know. Time's money. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mario. Good job. And, and, and you complained about that previously. It's true. I mean, they, they don't have trainings. And that's the main reason. Training employees is expensive, but many, many companies don't see the benefit. Let me give you an example of but Marilena. Also, oh, also expensive, don't training, uh, because when you don't, you don't train your, your employees, maybe they can do something wrong that can be avoided if you keep them with uh, good knowledge. Excellent. Totally agree with you. Yeah, if you train your personal, that's the whole goal, right? For them to do their job well. Now, uh, companies don't invest on their employees after the induction, the inductional trainings. They don't go with any other trainings because of what Mario said cost 
is very uh, costly, you know, to train personnel. Now, going back to Marilena's and, and Nelson's point, this happened to me back in 2012, at the end of 2000. Man, I can't remember. Hold on. Yeah, at the end of 2012, uh, they let me go from, from a company, from a call center. They let me go with another 60 employees, 60 people. In three months, they fired 20, 20, and the last 20. Bye-bye. And they didn't give us our money. So I said, you know what? I'm going to look for a job that is not call center related. So I spent six months without a job. Guess what? I had experience on computers, on airlines, on customer service, technical support. I had I had been an accounting auxiliary. I knew about the import and exporting products, um, inco terms. I mean, a lot of knowledge. But still, I couldn't find a job that will pay me enough as the call center. Okay, you follow? Do you follow? Yeah, okay. So what did I realize? That all the trainings on how to repair computers, how to work um, on Amadeus, the system for the airline, you know, all that knowledge in my country, in my country, is useless. I went to five interviews or so. I went to the US Embassy for an interview. The guy said, man, you got very good English, you know, but we are not looking for your profile right now. We need someone with more knowledge about this, this and that, but not technical support, not customer service. I was like, oh my God, right? They needed more knowledge on laws, on Salvadorian law and American laws. So I was like, oh, damn it, very disappointed. And I had to go back to call centers and so on. I mean, so in the end, they will train you. Yes, it's a big benefit, as Maria Elena said. And this is surprising. I didn't expect Maria Elena's answer. I was not expecting Maria Elena's answer. It's very interesting to know and to think that when somebody works, on, on project management, like Jorge, like Marilena, they trained you more, 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 and you gain value for the projects. Because in the future, as Marilena said, when they need someone, they call you. Man, do we call Carlos? No, Carlos has never worked in project development, you know, so we need someone with experience. Uh huh. Me so, un nombre. What? <laughs> okay, you got it. Maybe it depends. It's up to. Oh, Marilena, your audio. <laughs> it's bad. I I know it's bad. I am um, out the camera. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Marilena. We lost her. Okay, so yeah, I I think we got the, the point. Sometimes it's very beneficial for the company. Most part of the times it's very beneficial for the company. Not for the employee, but for the company is very beneficial. So let's see. Next dynamic. This is very simple. Um, it's very similar to the previous dynamic. So I will say something. I'm going to read aloud 
and I need you to use paired conjunctions to to uh, respond, okay? So if I tell Manuel, for example, if I tell Manuel, do you know Peter? Do you know Bill? Again, I tell Manuel, hey, Manuel, you know Peter? Um, do you know Bill? Manuel will say, mm, I know both. I know both, Peter and Jack. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so you know Peter. Do you know Jack? And he will say, I know both Peter and Jack. I know them both. Yep, yeah, I know both Peter, Peter and Jack. Hey. Puede decir, no es como conocer. No, ajá. Ojo, conocer de, muy buena pregunta, conocer de ya años, ya Ya lo conozco, sé que le gusta el café sin azúcar. I know him. Meat. Mm, pero en este contexto no podría usarlo. Mm -hmm. I, I, a menos de que dijese, yo lo conocí. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I met Manuel. He was my, my student. I met Manuel. He was my student. No podría decir, I knew Manuel. He was my student. Yo lo conocía a Manuel. No, no, conocer de... Oh, ya no, ya no lo conozco, no sé quién es. Right? Different. You got it. I met Manuel. He was mm -hmm. my student. I know Manuel. He's my student. You see? Okay. Sí, no voy a decir, I meet. Oh, I meet the teacher. I meet the teacher. No, I know the teacher. He's... I know, okay. I know pasado, Rafael. I know decirte. Rafael. En pasado, sí. Correcto. En pasado sí, meet, met. I met, I met Jorge. He was my student. Oh, I know Jorge. Jorge Vela, yeah. He's my okay. student. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So let's see. First sentences. Do you like tennis? Do you like golf? Do you like tennis? Do you like golf? I like both tennis. Uh, both. both perfect very good okay that was easy i like both <laughs> tennis and golf i like both tennis and golf very good next you don't know jane do you know jack teacher this is a negative. You don't know Jane. Do you know Jack? Neither. Neither, neither know Jane. Neither know nor Jane. Jack. Where is the subject? I neither. I neither. Excellent. Good. I neither know Jane. Nor. Nor. Nor Jack. Good job, guys. That was difficult. So, en ese ejemplo, quito el don't y ocupo neither. Que era lo que hablábamos antier. Okay, very good. I'm sorry. On Friday, right? And yeah. Next, you are studying math. You are studying math. Are you studying English? No, am I? Uh-oh. No, no, no. Estamos ocupando um, neither nor either or both and what's the other <laughs> not only but also so four mm -hmm. different uh per conjunctions. Per conjunctions okay a Manuel encantado de ese tema me llega super bien <laughs> okay next you are studying math are you studying English I want both answers, affirmative and negative. Maybe I bought a study. I don't remember all the <laughs> sentences. Again, but again. Both oh, let me let me paste it on the chat so you can you can land the I right not only study math, but also English. Now be careful. I'm af I'm doing an affirmation. Hey, uh, Mario, you are studying math. 
Are you studying English? The I am first part is an affirmative. Oh. The first part is an affirmation, yes, but uh, Jorge. And the second yes, one but also. Is, a, is a question. Both. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Mario. Both. Uh, uh, both. I, I'm studying math and I'm studying English. Okay, just don't repeat I'm studying. One more time. Both. Yeah. Yes, both. both. I'm studying math yeah. and English. You got it. In English. I can even say, yeah, both math and English. Yeah, both math and English. What about the negative? Neither. Hmm? I neither, I neither, I neither, neither wait, wait. I studied nor English. Okay, one more time, Manuel. I neither math. Mm -mm, you had the I idea. Chris, yeah, huh? I'm neither. I study English. ING. I study in English and nor, uh, nor math. You got it. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm neither studying English. I'm sorry. I'm neither studying math nor English. That's my brother. <laughs> You see? You got it. Very good. Next. You need to work on the weekend. Do you need to work in the evening? <clears throat> you need to work on the weekend. Do you need to work in the evening? You need to work on the weekend. Again, the first section is an affirmation. Second part is a question. Was your only teacher? Try it, Sylvia, okay? Not only you need to work. Not on... only I, you're answering. No, just... Okay, um, so need... Sylvia, Sylvia, do you need to work on the weekend? The, do you need to work in the evening? Oh. En lugar de you, vas a utilizar I. El I, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Ah, pero en, al inicio, como no es pregunta, sería siempre solo... Not only, not only you need to work. Not on only the I, to contest us. Not only I need to work on the weekend. Mm -hmm. but, also. Um, but, but also, do I need to work? Ah, ya no hago el do I porque no es una pregunta. But also, the, in, in the evening. In the evening. One more time. Not only I need to work on the weekend but also in the evening. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Not only I need to work on the weekend, but also in the evening. Is that possible, boss? Yeah, sure. It's okay. You got it. Okay. You can do negatives too on that one. Neither I need to work on the weekend, nor in the evening. Teacher, y si yo quiero contestar, no personalmente, Eh, si no así gramáticamente cómo sería pues la pregunta es you need to work on the week do you um, need to the no aplicarlo hacia mí sí yo te entiendo ajá, sería como you siempre gramaticalmente eh, no es apropiado not only uh, not only you need to work on the weekend but also in the evening um, mm. No podrías usar eso como una respuesta no, no, a esa ajá, pregunta. Si lo right. aplico a mi, a, a mi personal, sí, porque yo puedo contestar de las dos. O si, sea, quieres, si quieres, si el ejercicio 
fuese mm -hmm. reescribir las oraciones usando mm -hmm. el not only but also mm -hmm. o todos los demás conectores, entonces sí, ahí sí, reescribir las oraciones ocupando per conjunctions, mm -hmm. perfecto, tendrías que escribir textual lo que está acá. Not only you need to work on a weekend, but also in the evening. You got it. Okay, one more. The last one. You don't eat fish. Do you eat beef? You don't eat fish. Do you eat beef? You need eat fish. Yeah. Mm, but remember, no, you're it's... answering. You are answering. I'm telling you, hey, you don't eat fish. Do you eat beef? Neither. I neither eat fish nor yeah. beef. You got it. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, I neither yeah. eat fish nor beef. I'm, ve I'm vegetarian. I'm sorry. Teacher, y si es de forma afirmativa que yo le quiero contestar, Oh, yeah, 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 I do eat fish. I mean, I do eat fish, beef. I like both. I like both. Yes. yes. I yes. like both fish and fish beef. And you got it. Good, George. Lástima que se nos unió tarde. Ahorita este Manuel estaba pero en llamas, como dicen. He was on, he was on fire. Yes. <laughs> like the, the hunger. The yes, hunger. Yes. The day, it is the day of Manuel to shine. It's my, hey, it's Manuel's day to shine. Game. It's Manuel's <laughs> day to shine. Yeah, Valentine's effect. Yes. Okay, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this class um, and the day, the Valentine's Day. I don't like Valentine's. I prefer uh, this guy. They used to compare me with him. With Ken Reeves, <laughs> yeah, but I I prefer to watch Ken Reeves on Constantine. That sounds more for me than Valentine's. Valentine, no, Constantine. Okay, there are the other the other three examples, so you can take notes if you want, and, and do it on your own. Remember to finish the platform tonight. I'm staying. I mean, sorry, finish the platform up to the midterm exam tonight that's very important um <clears throat> who did i stay with i i stood with mario jose valle um no i stood with nelson norma carolina is not here silvia suleima please stay 10 minutes will you yeah. 10 minutes okay thank you silvia okay guys i'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock again Come on. Pueden ser mañana. Okay, not a problem. Wendy? Ten minutes, Wendy. Will that be possible? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, cool, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock again. Tómense un Red Bull antes de la clase, please, so we can be all cheer up. Okay, good. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Good night. Good night. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Not here today. Cristian Natalia Razo Rogel. Present. My robot is here. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Cereguiño Martinez. Hope you get better. And see you again. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Diego got disconnected. He was at the airport. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present, teacher. Hey, good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, teacher. Good, good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present, teacher. Good night. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Good night. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good night. Good night. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. 
Gracias, teacher. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, Diana and Susana. Bye bye. Present teacher, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Wendy Maribel, good evening. ¿Cómo está? Esta es nuestra primera sesión. Uh, English is difficult for me, teacher. I return a principiant. Nah, no, no, no se preocupe. A ver, mm -hmm. trabajemos juntos en mejorar las áreas que necesitamos mejorar. Pero Ajá. fíjese que cuando yo tengo la primera sesión con, con alguien, cuando me hacían un grupo y me toca estar en la sesión esta de uno a uno, por primera Ajá. vez con los estudiantes, muchas veces hablo en español, pero que eh, necesito sí. entender ¿no? eh, muchos aspectos. Pero hay sí. tres preguntas bien básicas. A ver, ¿cuál Ajá. ha sido su relación con el inglés? O sea, desde antaño, ¿no? Cuando empezó, ¿qué es lo que ha hecho? Eh, sin mencionar nombres de academias, por supuesto, ni programas de inglés. Sí, sí, sí. Pero, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que ha.? ¿De dónde viene con el inglés, no? Esa es la primera pregunta. Uh -huh. La segunda pregunta es: dentro de todo esto que ha hecho por aprender inglés, ¿qué ha identificado usted que es su área de oportunidad principal? O sea, que usted diga, híjole, es que yo, a mí lo que me cuesta es la gramática, lo que me cuesta es la pronunciación, o eh, eh, no entiendo cuando me hablan. Y la tercera uh -huh. pregunta, que es la más uh -huh. importante también. ¿Qué estoy haciendo, Wendy? ¿Qué estoy haciendo para aprender inglés? Aparte de recibir estas dos horas de clase todos los días, ¿qué más hago para aprenderlo? So, son tres preguntas. Vaya, eh, de que vengo, o sea, me da hasta vergüenza decirlo porque yo, mi inglés se supone que tendría que ser bueno porque prácticamente es de tercer ciclo. Desde el tercer ciclo me enseñaron, pero es como que lo básico, lo básico, lo básico. Y he recibido en otro, digamos, otros cursos. Eh, comencé hasta en la universidad eh, cursos aparte de inglés. En una academia que no voy a mencionar, ya recibí un año, dos años, dos años, que se supone que ya tendría que, que tener que haberme graduado, pero yo no me quise ni graduar. Entonces, o sea, me gusta el inglés y todo, pero eh, no sé, siento que me, el vocabulario, luego yo me frustro porque sé palabras en una frase, pero nunca sé cómo articular las palabras y que, y que yo, yo pueda expresarme en inglés. Es como que yo siento que yo hablo como que soy indio, o sea, estoy así como que ah, Coca-Cola me gusta, o sea, así <risa> siento yo que que me cuesta, entonces el, no, no es como fortalecer el, el vocabulario, uh -huh. eso más que todo, y que prácticamente me quedo con lo que estoy recibiendo en cada momento que he estado estudiando, pero no voy más allá, entonces uh -huh. no he tomado, por lo menos lo que usted decía de lo de las, lo de las canciones, o de las series, o de todo eso, debería de estarlo haciendo, y es como que como que me gusta el inglés, pero hasta en mi trabajo estoy a veces traduciendo. O sea, y yo, te, yo tengo el, lo de hacer las solicitudes de visa y todo eso. Entonces, me sé la estructura de lo de la visa. Pero pregúnteme algo fuera de eso, eso es lo que me cuesta. Como es lo que más practico, es <ríe> lo único que me sé. O sea, ya no necesito estarlo traduciendo. Pero, pero lo demás, como no lo practico, entonces me siento, no sé. Por eso le digo que me, me, o sea, me cuesta a veces entender las cosas y a veces como que cuando yo le pongo más, más este... Entusiasmo. Cuando no digo eso, ajá, entusiasmo, y cuando no digo, no puedo, sino que intento, ya, ya siento que, que sí, pues que sí tengo capacidad, pero yo soy como la que me limito. Usted se bloquea sola. Exacto, me bloquea. Mm. Nadie es perfecto. Solo. 
Dios. <risa> Diez años tenía con el PC con eso. La perfección, la perfección no existe. La perfección es una ilusión que vale la pena perseguir, tomando en cuenta que jamás se va a alcanzar la perfección. Y esto para evitar la frustración. O sea, de nuevo, la perfección es una ilusión que vale la pena perseguir, tomando en cuenta que jamás seré perfecto y que... Esto me va a ayudar a, a, a dar lo mejor de mí sin frustrarme. Qué perfecto, solo Dios. Ajá. Sí. Entonces, tomar en cuenta eso y repetirse ese karma todos los días. La, ese, la, ese... la perfección es una ilusión. ¿Qué? <ríe> no me la voy a robar. <ríe> sí, 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 se la voy a robar. La la perfección voy a poner en el es, una, es una ilusión que vale la pena perseguir. Que uh -huh. vale la pena. Vale la pena perseguir. Tomando en cuenta que jamás seré perfecto. Tomando en cuenta que jamás seré perfecto. Para evitar la frustración, para evitar la frustración. Habiendo dado lo mejor de mí, porque el punto es ese, o sea, si usted, es como el dicho americano, dicen, aim to the moon, aim to the moon, apúntale a la luna. Sí, si quieres llegar alto, uh -huh. apúntale a la luna. No le vas a dar a la luna, pero vas a llegar bastante cerca. Sí. Entonces, el mejor esfuerzo sí. es ese, el que se da tratando de llegar más alto de lo que se espera. ¿Ya? Tratando de aspirar sí. a algo más grande que lo que podemos sí. en realidad. Ah, sí. Pues, ¿por qué le digo esto? Porque uno de adulto es bien fácil caer en la frustración y decir, no, es que llevo dos años he visto esto mucho, mucho, muchas veces llevo dos años pagando una academia privada y aparte soy en el curso de Insafor y aparte en la universidad me dan inglés o sea, y entonces no podemos hacer muchas cosas a la vez en los call centers se da esto del multitasking, multitasking se cree que uno puede estar haciendo varias cosas a la vez pero está comprobadísimo que de dos cosas una voy a hacer bien es como perseguir dos conejos a la vez, dice el libro, que tanto me gusta a mí. Y, sí. y sale, sale, sale un dibujo de patas de conejo hacia los dos lados, en X. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasa si, si tienes que perseguir a dos conejos? O sea, no vas a agarrar a ninguno de los dos, porque por perseguir a uno, el otro va a salir corriendo y entonces te quedaste sin ninguno de los dos. Lo mismo ocurre al hacer dos tasks, dos uh, cosas a la vez. ¿Qué voy a hacer para corregir eso? Creo que el vocabulario es el problema. Muy probablemente sí, pero a su punto ya no es que me falte, como usted dice, que me falte el vocabulario. Está aquí. Lo que falta es darle estructura. Entonces, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer? ¿Cómo le voy a dar estructura a, al vocabulario que ya tengo? Que estoy seguro que ya es extenso, pero hay que sacarlo. ¿Cómo lo saco? Bien, eh, yo les envié al principio, desde que me los asignaron a ustedes, aquí está, un, um, un PDF con una cosa que decía homework, les envié Ay, también lo, los verbos de rutina y los verbos más utilizados, ¿se acuerda? Sí, sí. sí, sí Vaya, sí, sí. entonces, sí. hay que hacer esa tarea, la que dice homework básico 1, B1. Ese solo es un ejemplo, simple present. A su nivel, Wendy, lo que tiene que hacer es, lunes, agarrar un cuaderno solo para esto, un cuaderno solo para esto. Sí. Si usted hace esto, por experiencia le digo, le va a funcionar, porque yo ya lo he visto que funciona. Entonces, eh, ¿qué voy a hacer? Todos los días, me organizo primero, eso es muy importante, el primer día no voy a hacer la tarea, me voy a organizar. Entonces agarro un calendario, para que se vea, un calendario con muchas fechas, un, un calendario grande, no sé si se ve, no lo se va a ver, muy blanca la hoja, no lo se ve. Sí, es blanco, pero Ah, bueno, un calendario de los grandes, ¿no? Un organizador. Y pongo lunes, present simple. Martes, simple past. Miércoles, ¿qué más me cuesta? Present perfect. El punto es que usted a conciencia diga, eh, no, este tiempo no lo recuerdo, este tampoco. Entonces, yo organicé de lunes a domingo. ¿Qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué tiempo gramatical voy a atacar? ¿Cómo lo voy a atacar? 
tal como está en ese PDF. La tarea uh -huh. es homework, basic one. Y entonces voy a agarrar un verbo y una palabra. Y comienzo, positivo, negativo, pregunta, del tiempo gramatical que quiero repasar. Entonces el lunes dije presente simple. Como lo que más me cuesta es las terceras personas, empiezo con he, she, it. Busco la gramática y empiezo. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Siguiente verbo, siguiente palabra. Diferentes, ¿eh? Cambio sujetos, cambio verbo, cambio palabra. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Y así voy. Cinco verbos con sus cinco palabras relacionadas a cada verbo. Todos los días. El martes hago pasado, pasado simple. El miércoles cambio de tiempo gramatical. Y así voy. Y así voy. Muy importante. Como usted decía. Yo no sé si usted lo ha hecho, pero hemos grabado tantos videos a este punto, ya van 11, sí, hoy es el onceavo, pues sí. si usted ha visto alguna de sus clases, cuando usted interviene en la clase, ¿se ha puesto atención? ¿Se ha criticado a usted misma? Uh -huh. Si no lo ha hecho, uh -huh. busque un video donde usted haya hablado bastante y entonces uh -huh. empiece a verse, a escucharse. ¿Cómo se oye mi voz? ¿Qué dije? ¡Ey, qué bonito dije eso! ¡Ey, qué chido me salió eso! ¡Muy bien! ¿Ya? Entonces, sí. eso es muy importante, porque de esa manera va a poder apreciarse a sí misma, aceptarse a sí misma y odiarse a sí misma. Sí, sí amarse sí. es odiarse, sí. amarse es odiarse, así, de verdad. Poder decir, es que esto no me sale bien, lo voy a corregir, porque me quiero. O sea, odiar lo que me hace mal, odiar lo que me hace mal, miremoslo así. Entonces, ojo, eh, sí, sí se puede, sí. pero yo le digo, a mis 35 años logré hacer una introspección, un escrutinio personal, y me pude enterar de quién era realmente, no me gustó. <risa> me digo. Y al mismo tiempo, las una o dos cualidades que pude ver en mí mismo, que es lo que más cuesta realmente, al hacerse uno mismo una introspección, descubrir para qué bueno uno es bien difícil. Entonces, ánimo, ánimo, ¿verdad? Sonríe. Usted es una persona muy alegre, eso le, se lo admiro, es muy alegre y eso es bueno. Entonces, ánimo, eh, no, no para atrás, sino para adelante, sigue este consejo sencillo todos los días y ya va a ver. Cualquier cosa me escribe, estoy a su servicio, ¿ok? Bueno, está bien. Gracias. Enjoy the night. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you. Blessings. Good bye bye. Good night and blessings. Bye.